Fall is our favorite time of year in the mountains, with the golden aspen and the moose making themselves seen. We've even got our first snow of the year this week. Hard to believe that can happen so easily here when we've been enjoying hot sunny weather for so long. But down in the dome, I love to pop inside on a snowy day to check out how things are holding up. And it's a comfort to see temperatures in the 70s despite the fog and chilly temperatures outside. Last week, I planted some arugula, which is really doing well. So switching over to fall planting in the dome, and that means pulling out the last two cucumbers, taking down dried up vines and harvesting that winter squash and letting it ripen. Amazingly, there's still a ton of tomatoes ripening and we'll see how long that lasts. But it's quite the delight, not only to have our first tomato crop this year, but to have them still produce after our first snow has already fallen. The flowers still look amazing and continue to put out blooms. And really this time of year, it's a joy to spend time tending to the garden in the dome. And it was also the first snow experience for our new family members, Mango and Rasco. If you missed it in the previous videos, these new kitties are just over three months old and are learning what life is like up in the mountains. At least they've got their big brother Vigo to look out for them. Before the snow hit this week, Brian was able to get a little head start on some of the welding work he has to do for the solar array. So let's check in with Brian and see how that project's coming along. All right, so, so why are you going through the trouble? We gotta tell folks why you're going through the trouble of building your own solar array stand yes. when you can buy them. Right, so <laughs> the first is I already had a, a pad poured down there with anchors already in place, so those probably wouldn't match up with anybody else's. Um, second is the ones that I was looking at only had a wind, max wind speed were rated for 35 miles an hour. And, and apparently our wind speeds just went up to like 100 and something, 140 or- Our county. Our county, yeah, wind loads. And so our wind comes straight across from the south. It's just really gonna get the brunt of it. Um, yeah. And so 35 mile an hour wind load isn't gonna be adequate. So I purchased a bunch of, a bunch of quarter inch steel pipe, plating um, to build our own, and hopefully it'll be more rigid. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is probably put some tethers or anchors towards the outside of it, anchor those into the ground as well, so that there's not as much rotation. Yeah, so you got a little setup here, DIY uh, <laughs> welding table using a tractor. Yeah, yeah, motor. I just had to grind off some clear, clean metal. Okay. So um, I did a little test piece, seemed to be working out good. I got my welder maxed out, I think, because we've got, again, quarter inch steel pipe here okay. and then uh, this is 16th inch plate on that one this is actually a top cap for what we're doing and then um, the bottom plate is actually quarter inch so i can show you that real quick okay i was like well, that's a small little <laughs> stand for the bottom but you're starting with a top first I'm, I'm starting with the top just to practice a little bit so this is quarter inch got the holes all drilled out for the uh, anchor bolts okay. so ground, ground off the mill scale um, that's, this stuff's hard stuff. <laughs> We've got the, you know, you got a big spool of wire, so you're not constantly changing out the stick. So I'm, I'm trying to, with the MIG core, uh, flux core wire. So we'll see how it goes. I, I might not have the quite the biggest wire size I should have, but I did, like I said, I did a test weld and it seems to be working pretty good. So got a bunch of bracing we'll be doing on these as well. So these will be on here like that. So this one will have four, but the bottom one's gonna have like eight different brace, uh, braces on it. So to really keep it uh, secure. So we're, I need, we got three big panels. So I, I kind of sized it to accommodate those three panels specifically. Okay. Should be all right. So first thing, so you're gonna do the cap first and then I'm gonna what? do the practice on the cap and then I'll, then I'll, then I'll go to um, the base plate probably. Okay. Or maybe the, I'm not sure which order I'm going to go, but um, the, this, <laughs> these two poles are going to be nested. So this one goes inside of this one so I oh, can yeah. make it the length that I want. So I'm going to do about seven feet tall at the peak because the overall length of the panels is about 10 feet. So that'll keep it like four feet off the ground. Okay. Uh, and then I've got my crossbar. So these get... Well done, the crossbars in the house, but um, this get welded on the side. And then the outside, there's two U-bolts that will bolt a pipe 
a galvanized um, chain link fence pipe. And so that'll be, and then it'll be another one. So it'll be a big, almost like a square um, to hold the panels to it. So okay. there's a lot of steps. There were a lot of pieces to, to prepare. So I'll probably be welding for a while. I have to take some breaks because I think the welders can't handle too much welding in a row. Mm, so, okay. you know, the duty cycle, I guess they call it. Fun times. <laughs> yeah, should work out good. Almost like the biggest uh, welding job you've done. It is the biggest, yeah. <laughs> You've welded well, a couple things here and there, but you've never com made a, a complete fabricated right, yeah. project. I mean, the, all the, the railing pieces there, but those are just little spot welds here and there. Yeah. So these are a lot of big runs. So. Okay. Yeah, we have just a, so just a casual observer in the background Oh, Brian's welding. We've got a bull moose, uh, just one antler on him. Uh, he might be chasing after this cow right over here. Uh, she's been definitely hanging around all weekend, uh, driving all the bulls crazy. So that's what's going on over here. Got to double check your work. Be extra careful welding and watching the moose in the background. <laughs> but uh, we had to cop this job a little short because of the incoming weather. So Brian was able to get quite a few welds done. Uh, he was able to build his big tower and the crossbar piece, it looks like, um, so, or the piece that's going to hold the panels. So more to come on the welding. Definitely um, going to explain that a little bit more in the next video and show the assembly a little bit more specifically. But uh, a lot of work done today, so that's pretty good. So, okay. Swivel. Okay. I'll drill some holes through here so we can... Keeping them fixed. Okay. Nice. Look at that. It's very stout. <laughs> very stout. It's a little. I need to get some little wire brushes that are cones, and I can get all cleaned up. Oh, clean it up. Then yeah. I gotta paint it. Hmm. So. Came out all right, I guess. Welding wise, or... I don't think it's gonna fall down. <laughs> <laughs> and just in time because. Uh, it's time to pack up all these pieces for another sunny day because, well, this is what morning time looked like. <laughs> Less than 24 hours later. Not too bad, though. Still kind of pretty up here.